Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Physics. Welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So the other day I went on Twitter and I asked my followers, who happen to be my subscribers as well for the most part, and I asked them what would they like to see in the next update for 1.17. Because let's face it, 1.16 really wasn't that great in my opinion and based off of a lot of feedback from everybody who I've spoken to and also based off of the feedback in my uh, my video about why I thought it was a, like the worst DLC or at least pretty much the worst DLC that uh, GTA 5 has put out. It's pretty much unanimous that the Flight School DLC was a failure and it wasn't really what everybody thought it was going to be. So I went on Twitter, I asked them, what do you guys want to see in 1.17? If you guys were in charge of the DLC department, what would you make to make this DLC great or ideas you feel would be great? So um, I, you know, I went ahead and asked them if you guys would like to participate because I do do these quite often You guys can feel free to go follow me on Twitter and next time I ask for this sort of DLC stuff Which I think is really cool. You guys can have your particular tweets on my video So first we're gonna go with the very first response I got and this one is from Ricky Toro and uh, Ricky Toro says military DLC now um, I believe there's been a lot of rumors about a military type DLC. There's been face paints and stuff like that. Um, if I were to make some sort of a military DLC, I would want to see obviously an, a different tank. Uh, I'd want to see maybe two fighter jets that uh, maybe are a little bit faster. One that's slower but has more firepower um, and more armor. One that's faster that has less armor but it's just very agile and it can shoot and stuff. You know, kind of, you know, one jet that's good and the other one that's pretty good depending on what situation you're in. You know what I mean? That way it's not like an overpowered thing where everybody's going to use the same jet. Um, obviously, high-powered high, high powered rifles, military-type rifles, um, maybe, obviously, military clothing. That would be really fun to do. You know, things like that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more other stuff you can do, but off the top of my head, that's pretty much something that would be a really cool DLC feature for 1.17. The next uh, response here is by hashtag Fantastitch, and uh, he says, A Hollywood DLC with movie cars, movie costumes, masks, etc. So a Hollywood-themed DLC would be something I could totally see Rockstar doing just because um, there's already like a Hollywood-type boulevard kind of right down where you can see the stars on the, on the cement and stuff. They got like the guys who dress up as the characters from what looks like to be like a Halo game, but you know, like the green guys, and then they got like all these other costumes and stuff right down the street of the $400,000 apartment. Um, that could be something totally realistic, and that would be really, really fun to see how creative Rockstar could be with that DLC. Marius V says the James Bond car with shootable guns and uh, spikes dropping. So I think that would be something really cool to see in the DLC bringing back the James Bond car that can actually have the shootable guns. You can purchase the actual James Bond vehicle right now. I think it's called the JB700 or the 500. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the guns don't work in the online, but um, if they would be able to put that back online, I think that gun would be very fun to use, especially if you're like chasing somebody down and gunning them down. I think that would be an awesome DLC item you guys could bring back. Um, GTA 360 says alien and zombie survivals with UFOs all over Los Santos for aliens and for zombies all the buildings would be destroyed and the sky red I, I can totally see something like that going I know a lot of people don't want to see uh, zombies and a lot of people do want to see zombies I'm in the zombie team I want to see zombies I also want to see alien invasion as well I think both storylines would be amazing Rockstar could have a really great time doing something in story mode or even doing something in online which I think would be a little bit harder to do but Story mode could totally work, and uh, I think it would be some sort of creativeness. Like I always said with the zombie stuff, I want to see zombies turned into some sort of DLC format or a DayZ format to where you can uh, not go into your houses. You have to survive, go and look for weapons. You know, big old zombie crowds would be in certain areas and overpopulated with zombies and stuff, and you gotta kind of have to run away. I think realistically, that would be a good DLC for the particular zombies. Anthony LePage says, a jetpack, a car that dropped spikes from it, and a gun that had a grenade launcher. Okay, as, as you can see, the spikes dropping again is a pretty 
popular theme. Um, I think the spikes and stuff, that's something I can really see would be awesome if you're especially being chased by some dudes in online, you know how some people in online like to be funny and you know mess with people, being able to drop spikes on somebody and pop in their tires. But then again, everybody has bulletproof tires for the most part, so it would have to be um, puncturing bulletproof tires. You know, I think it would have to puncture the bulletproof tires. That way, it would be some sort of an effective device. The jetpack is a very demanded thing. I get that, and uh, that's something I would love to see GTA 5 Online come with. A gun that had a grenade launcher. A noob tube in GTA Online, I think, would be too hectic. I think it'd be just a mess of people just shooting noob tubes all over the map. And although it would be fun, I think it would be fun, at some point it would get very tiring and it would get very annoying. Um, we sort of already do have a noob tube, which is the actual grenade launcher itself. I mean, that thing does shoot grenades, so um, I think we already kind of have that. So I don't think they would implement that in any sort of DLC upcoming. Mick, uh, Mr. Mick Bitchin says, aside from cars and jets that have... That have use I would give people the option to give people their cars and or money um, I don't think this would be something that Rockstar would do just because I can already see the amounts of glitches that would be created with this thing I mean we're talking about glitches left and right money glitches there's already they already don't want people sharing money because if one person mods they can just give people money and so um, that would be a big problem so I don't see that coming anytime soon Kieran Shearwood says bring the hot knife so everyone can buy it. I agree with that. The hot knife is a vehicle I wish I could get back. I believe um, they took it out and uh, well it is taken out but I believe it was only a collector's edition DLC sort of a thing where if you bought the like if you pre-ordered the um, collector's edition they gave you that vehicle but now it's completely offline which is it's tragic but you know nevertheless I guess if they did bring that back it would be really awesome. Um this dude has no name. I guess you could call him Kevin Bear. He's got like a weird design with a happy face and stuff. He says a pet DLC that includes animals such as dogs, horses, etc. I don't know. I think a pet DLC would be okay. I'm kind of mixed about it because I don't want pets at, in GTA 5 Online just because um, bringing in pets means it's getting closer to playing Sims, and I don't want to play Sims. I want to play GTA 5. So. Uh, but I can see why people want pets. You can you have a pet in GTA uh, story mode, so it's like I can see why they want it. But at the same time, I don't want to play The Sims. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to play Sims, so I don't want to see that. But then I kind of do, but then I don't. You know, as long as it's not something fully functional where like you have to feed your dog every like couple hours or else it'll die kind of a thing. As long as it's nothing like that, I think it should be okay. This one is probably my favorite DLC that um, somebody said. Uh, it's by Game Coder, and he says North Yankton, Liberty City, etc. A plane ticket that would cost you a hundred thousand GTA dollars. And um, following up with him on that tweet, um, he was saying pretty much you you can visit certain locations of, for example, North Yankton. It would cost you, I would think, a reasonable price would be twenty thousand or like something like that, thirty thousand. And you can fly to North Yankton and explore that area. Obviously, there's already some sort of a uh, um, a setup that Rockstar already has. So all they would really have to do is just add more texture, add more um, the, the building's depth and stuff like that. So that way you can actually enter certain buildings and have a full functional city. I think that would be unbelievable if Rockstar did something like that. Make you And, and, and it would totally benefit Rockstar who was trying to get people to drain their bank accounts because now you have to pay to go over to North Yankton or you have to pay to go over to like an island of some sort and that's going to drain your bank account which is what Rockstar wants so it's a win-win people get to go and explore these places that they want to go and Rockstar can actually take out all the money that um, you know you want by spending it on stuff that people actually want so I think that would be a really cool thing to do all of these ideas are really awesome um, you know I really like incorporating my subs on your you know on videos and stuff like that so if you guys want to participate in the video I do do the stuff like this very often all you got to do is simply just follow me on Twitter wait for me to tweet something out and then you guys can participate especially with my Q&A's especially with stuff like this this is really really fun so you guys can go and follow me on Twitter I'll have that in the comment section as well as in the description and if you guys enjoy this video go ahead and drop a like on it it really does help my video out a lot you guys have no idea 
and subscribe if this is the first time you guys have came to my channel as I do upload daily GTA 5 content. Leave me some suggestions down below in the comment section as to DLC items you guys would like to see in the future 1.17 or even later updates. That would be also great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.